touching hello nigeria don't touch the dial hello nigeria sit back and relax And earlier we told you that Jamie Pajol, a leadership expert and a public, good public speaker, by the way, will be here with us on the show. Hello, Jamie. Hello. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. What, was, what piqued your interest in public speaking and leadership? Okay, so for me, um, I think leadership for me, it's about, um, I picked interest at a very early age when I discovered that, um, um, I have what it takes to like coordinate meetings and people always come to me and say, oh, Jimmy, can you help us to do this thing? Even when I was in school, a lot of people would come to me and say, please, can you help us to make an announcement? And then why in school, I, I used to organize seminars and conferences and all. And then as time proceed, I, I realized that I can make this in a business. All right. So today, um, I'm not just a leadership coach. I'm a global leadership coach. I, I've done programs outside Nigeria. Uh, last year, I was um, privileged to, to get an invitation to speak at John Hopkins University. Nice. And um, also, I had the opportunity to meet with President Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton. It was such an opportunity for me to um, speak and then have white people listen to me. You know, it reminds me of what um, my mother said many years ago that keep doing what you're doing, that in doing it, the whole world will come for you. Why did you specify white people? <laughs> I was going to ask <laughs> yeah, you that question. Yeah, because um, there's this idea of um, blacks always trying to borrow from the white, right? Mm -hmm. So, but me going over there to teach them and they are listening and they are writing, for me, I think that's, it's like a win-win thing, right? Okay. So, we not, we're not just learning from them, but they are also learning from us. Okay, so as a leadership expert and as a mentor also, I believe, um, what is your take on character development for the Nigerian youth of today? Oh, it's, it, character is very, very important. Um, if you go to any place in the world, one is one. If you go to any place in the world, A is A. Now, we call these things character. They don't change. Right? That means uh, one in the United States, one in Nigeria, one is one. But when it comes to character development, you realize that a lot of people changes, right? But you, some people don't understand the importance of character development. Mm. We focus more attention on charisma, mm -hmm. which gives you popularity. But then popularity can get you up there, but it takes character to sustain you. Okay. And without character, you only last for a while. Nobody's going to hear about you. But it takes character for you to stand the test of time. When they are looking for somebody to trust, they don't look for those with charisma. They look for those with character. So now how do we get to build this character that you speak about? Because unfortunately, we find that they are very honest, young, hardworking Nigerians. But we are also breeding a crop of people who want to make it overnight, who will cut corners and go to all ends. All ends. You know, they'll go to all extents. I watched a video a few minutes ago before I came on air of a lady saying she'll go for a reality show and she will do whatever. Yeah, I watched the video. You saw the video as well. I, she said, video. I don't care. I will do whatever it takes to get 45 million naira. So, how do you think that we as a people can build um, character amongst our young people? We're going to the polls in a few days. And many people are going to be looking after their stomach infrastructure. They, unfortunately, we're conversing against selling their votes, but we can't guarantee that somebody will not say, okay, give me, give me 5,000 or give me 10,000. I still heard that yesterday. So how, now, how can we ensure that this happens? Now, uh, when a man has no reason to wake up in the morning, sleeping becomes very interesting. When you don't have something that you are pursuing, something that you want to protect, something that you don't want to risk no matter what, you can do anything. Now, so one thing I realized that watch anybody that does not pay attention to character, I mean, they can do anything to just get things done. Such people just focus on the interim, what they can get at that particular moment. I was listening to that lady as she was talking all those things, and she even mentioned that she's a worker in, in, in a church, yeah. right? But look, listen to her statement. She said that she can do anything. So listening to her, I just saw somebody who is not even thinking about the future. 
So right now, if you can think about the future and think about yourself in the future and the kind of person you want to be in the future, it helps you to manage now, today, very well. So you're not just considering today. You're also thinking about tomorrow. You're also thinking about next tomorrow. So this thing puts you on check to manage now. Okay, so what happens to that part, just like she mentioned, concerning you know, our leadership in Nigeria, for example? You hear young people saying they don't care about what um, anybody tells them about not selling their votes. Now, everybody's saying these people are not going to care about us. Anything can happen. So why don't I just enjoy now? Let it be all now. Immediate gratification. Like right now. We, we've gotten to a, a point as a nation where um, there is so much hopelessness mm. in the country. All right. And, and if, when, once you lose hope, you don't mind losing every other thing that you have ever reserved as value system. Now, people have lost hope in the political system mm -hmm. because of the way things have been done over the years. But there's a way to it. You understand that in as much as the nation is going bad, you as an individual, do you want to go bad? The reason I cannot sell my vote, the reason I cannot do some certain things, not because of Nigeria, because of Jamie Padua and where Jimmy Padual is going. All right, so with that in mind, in as much as the country has gone bad, I still have some value system to protect me. Now, these are some of the things that will guide my character. In the midst of hopelessness, in the, in, in a, at a point where everybody is just giving up and they can do anything to just enjoy the now. But that is now you have built, you know, value system for yourself. How do we now translate this value system to others? How do we help other people as well, young people like us, young and old, because in this day and age, even the old people as well have lost hope. So how do we transfer this character development, you know, from one person to another? What are some of the tips you would give? And that, that's, what, that's what we are doing as a as leadership coach. And um, part of what I do is to, um, I mean, I have thousands of young people that I mentor in Nigeria even across Africa. I, I cannot save the whole world, all right? I can only save those within my world, all right? So the way to build value system or to inculcate value system, we have to go to the foundation. I always say that our education system is preparing people for the past and not for the future. So if you want to have a system where value system is being uh, um, enriched and nurtured, then we have to go back to the foundation. And what's the foundation? The primary schools, the secondary schools. Teach them about leadership. Leadership should be part of our educational curriculum. Brilliant. Leadership should be part of our university uh, um, subject. Leadership is not something that you just want to do because you want to train. No, leadership is everything. So what about the home? It also starts from the home. So you teach leadership in school, teach le leadership in the university, leadership in church, leadership at home. Okay. Leadership everywhere, leadership on TV. Now, if we begin to promote this and people begin to see the need to develop themselves, because they are, right now, every young person, not every young person, at least most young people in Nigeria, they don't care about tomorrow. They just want to make it now. Thankfully, you know, there are many others that still care. We're thankful, we're thankful, you know, that there's still a lot more young people. Let's not, you know, look down on the fact that there's still a lot more young people that are hardworking and still believe in the future. Definitely. You know, young people that are being celebrated all over the world, most especially with regards to the Future Awards and what they're doing in recognizing talents. We are going to be having one of the winners of the Future Awards category for fashion, and he'll be joining us in a bit. But before we let you go, Jamie, tell us, what, what are you up to? Any recent projects you're working on? Okay, so right now um, we have um, several projects that we're doing. I have a project I'm doing in Imo State that regards to, for the first time, I'm taking my, my, my leadership program to Imo State. So we're planning an international youth leadership um, uh, conference. Uh, last year, November, I wanted to bring two, um, two people from the state. One is the youngest, the youngest judge in the state of Michigan and also the youngest state representative. The whole idea of bringing them to Nigeria was to inspire young people and we still want to do it this year. And then other things just involves about the things that I do as regards to leadership training. All right, so how can people find out more information for those who are interested in participating in this? All right, Jamie Pajual is my name, J-A-M-I-E, 
um, J, J A, Pajual is spelled, oh, okay, Pajual is spelled J A M I E. Jemmy is spelled J A M I E, then Pajual is P A J O E L. You can find me on Facebook, you can find me on LinkedIn, you can find me on Instagram. All right, thank you so much for joining us, Jamie. We've been to enjoy more of these our get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.